just like we saw in France, you have revolutions in the street. There's literally bonfires at intersections in France, in Paris today, because people don't want to wait another two years before they get their pension payments. The holes need to be filled. The money is not going to just not get paid to the pensioners. Social security is not going to go away. So ultimately, that check has to be written. When you add up the column of how much money is not on the balance sheet today, how much liability is not on the balance sheet today, that is ultimately going to have to get paid out. Riots and strikes are happening all across France. Let's talk about it. So, it all starts with this man, Emmanuel Macron, the current president of France. And what he and his party decided was that they were going to raise the retirement age from 62 to 64. Not only did they do this, but to pass a law in France, you have to vote in the parliament. So Macron and his parties basically bypassed the entire French parliament and said, we're going to do it regardless. We don't care about the people's opinion. And why raising the retirement age is so bad is because that means you have to work longer and harder in order to retire. So imagine you're 61. You think, oh yeah, I'm going to retire next year. I'm getting ready to retire. And all of a sudden you have to work two more years. Your life expectancy isn't getting any longer. So we're seeing strikes all over the city. Garbage workers aren't working. Factory workers are out protesting. A French oil refinery was shut down because the oil workers are just quitting. And of course, you can't have a riot without police brutality. And this is what some of the streets in France looked like last night. These are people going out to protest. I believe they said it was 500,000 people. The French do not take things like this lightly. And this was the French parliament. Of course, they were extremely upset because Emmanuel Macron just basically just said, you know, I don't care about you guys. I'm doing whatever I want. And here's more craziness from the French parliament. This is the French Prime Minister, by the way. Aussi, parce que je suis attaché à notre modèle social, et parce que je crois dans la démocratie. This is I believe in democracy while trying to while doing this crazy statement. So yeah, that's it. A lot's gonna be happening over the next couple of days. So make sure to follow me for more updates and comment and let me know if you guys want me to talk about something. All right, peace. Finland's flag will now be Finland, what is new with you? We finally joined the NATO. Well, that's, that's awesome. You wanted to do that for a while. Yeah, we did, but someone is not happy. I kind of think I know who that someone is. I don't have to give hints. Everybody knows it's me. I'm not happy. But why? Because I wanted to get NATO away from me, not closer. How close is Finland to you? Actually, serious. Finland shares a huge part of my border. Yeah, more than all the other NATO members <laughs> combined. I really hope nothing happens. Yeah, n no promises. We welcome, welcome Finland as a new news member of our alliance. We will raise the Finnish flag for the first time here at the NATO headquarters. A new era begins. This great alliance has shielded our nations and it continues to do so today.
tiny island about the size of Alabama. However, this tiny island is home to 145 million people. Indonesia is an archipelago of about 6,000 inhabited islands. You have 53 percent of Indonesian citizens live in Java. Australia, the world's largest island, is 60 times larger than Java, while holding almost a sixth of the population. Speaking of population, if Java was a country on its own, it would be the ninth most populated country, housing more people than Russia, Mexico, and Japan. Also, Indonesia is currently the fourth most populated country, but if Java broke away, it would be bummed out to the 10th with 128.5 million. Finally, on a global scale, 1.8% of the world's population lives in Java, meaning if we were to grab a thousand random people from the world, 18 of them would be from this tiny island. <laughs> Makes me feel